It was the first royal yacht designed for travelling the ocean. We know her today as the Royal Yacht Britannia, but in 1953, the ship's name was a closely guarded secret, revealed when the Queen smashed a bottle of Empire wine after announcing to the crowds... I name the ship Britannia. This is our TARDIS. It's a time capsule. We go back a long way with the ship, and uh, we're all very proud to serve served her. We did a... We worked hard, we played hard, and we had uh, a really wonderful time while we were travelling around the world. Ahead of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, over 50 former Royal Yachtsmen, or Yachties, have returned to conduct light duties. And one thing that isn't missing is tradition. If you're in a deck below and you've got somebody clonking around in heavy footwear, you can hear it. So we always wore plimsolls, keep the sound down. And the last thing you want to do is wake up the Queen. The last thing you do is want to wake up the Queen. Reminiscing in the engine room, the crew felt the pressure when a certain someone came to visit. In 1994, she'd done a million nautical miles, which is the same as one circumnavigation of the world every year for 40 years. And so they tied ribbons between these two head throttles, tied a blue ribbon, and Her Majesty did come down here and cut the ribbon to celebrate that. While in royal service, 220 crew lived and worked on board and their orders were nothing less than to strive for daily perfection. It's 37 years since, uh, since I served on board and it's, uh, it's a real honour. I've got to be honest, it doesn't need much work though, does it? I mean, it looks well looked after. It's uh, continuous, it's a bit like the fourth bridge. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, know you, you, start, you start once before you finished it, you're starting again. <laughs> Britannia has played an important role in both the public and private life of the Queen. Now it sits as a reminder of many happy memories, a symbol of pride for Great Britain. Bradley Harris, 5 News, Edinburgh.